Hello everyone, my name is Vlada. I'm the member of the Data Reef team from the Mimbox Minsk office. And today I'd like to tell you about uh, my topic linking the map together, collaborations of Mimbox, Data Reef and OpenStreetMap communities. So first of all, I would like to start with what is the Data Reef team. So the Data Reef team uh, is responsible for several spheres in our company and RIF is the abbreviation and each letter stands for other spheres of our work. So first is R, reviewing OSM data. Some years ago in the state of the map there were presentation about this process of the reviewing OSM data and uh, in OSM chart, sometimes you can find the results of our review in labels to their um, change sets that Mapbox or um, review it is a bad change set. Our letter A is for notation for machine learning training datasets. This here was the first one for the data rave team in Minsk. And next one is the validation of data data from open sources. Sometimes we need to clarify some kind of data and try to find uh, different kind of sources to check the ground truth is to be sure of uh, some information. And the last but not the least is editing map. This here is the newest for the data reef team, also like and communication with different communities. So, and the next slide, there, there is our team, the Tariff team. In 2018, there were about 30 people. So now it is uh, grown in three times or even uh, bigger and continue to grow. And next is what are linters. Linters are data validators that identifies logical errors in OpenStreetMap data. We use the open source tool or some lint to run these data validators at a global scale. So for example, when you are mapping in the OSM and there's something wrong, you will see the warning uh, which will get you an opportunity to fix your mistake before saving but if you saved it uh, such kind of a mistake can be uh, can be extracted and then our team fixing it so we are fixing nine linters categories crossing highways island highways impossible angle impossible one ways mixed layer and uh, four type of linters categories which is described uh, the problems in um, turn restriction relations so crossing highways category means that there are two uh, crossing uh, roads which uh, don't have a common point island highway means that there's a road which doesn't uh, connected with the road network. Impossible angle means that there should be a drug node or two narrow uh, road near each other. Impossible one ways means that the road may have a wrong uh, one way direction or there is a one way without any finishing point. Mixed layer means that there are two crossings roads with the common points, but with different layer text. So, and four types of mistakes in uh, term restrictions relations. For example, there may be excessive role when we have two roads with the role from and only uh, one uh, point with the row via and one uh, row with the uh, and one road with the row two. A um, missing row, for example, when we have uh, only via and two row in uh, turn restriction, but it doesn't have a row from. 
and uh, nearby you can see the table which i usually pin to our github ticket in mapping repository with the json files uh, for the community also uh, to have an opportunity to review it or to see uh, which kind of uh, mistakes you have in your territory in the OSM. So next, uh, there are some examples of linters issues. Um, in the first image, you can see the road which is crossings and have uh, a crossing point only with the boundary but doesn't have uh, with the next road, which is a mistake because both this road should have a common point. In the next uh, picture, you can see the wrong geometry of the road, like someone was trying to map a uh, turning and made it in a, wrong, uh, in a wrong way. So we should just fix the geometry uh, to make this road no, no double. Next case showing us a drug node, which is pretty easy to fix. And the next one is showing us the wrong direction of uh, the one-way road, uh, which is laying under the rooftop. So next one is showing us a uh, island highway road, the road which uh, uh, doesn't connect it with the road network, which is uh, very near. And the next one showing us the road with the bridge tag, uh, which has a common point with the underlying road uh, with the different layers. So it is also a mistake and we should just delete this common point. And uh, to be clear that this bridge have a layer tag. So actually, why the that Rave team do it? Why it is important for my box? Because we had start, started to reveal linters in the previous autumn, in October. So we are doing this because of our API and also because we have a navigation SDK, which is partially based on OSM data. So that's why we are highly interested to provide uh, the best OSM data as we can. And also for a very long time, the box were contributing uh, to the OSM and we would like uh, to continue to do it. So next slide, uh, for now, I would like to tell you about our first uh, trying to, to communicate with the communities why we were trying to do it and why we continue um, to do it now uh, so as i mentioned before it was the very first try for the data reef team to start mapping and to start to communicate with community and uh, some time ago we had um one case when uh, our massive import in uh, the territory of uh, germany were was reverted by uh, the community and when we started to prepare our first organized editing activity like linters we would like to avoid such kind of situation that's why uh, here you can see my first message to the OSM forum and thanks to the moderator who showed me that there is an organized editing guideline which we should follow and that uh, to start before starting mapping we should uh, prepare all needed documenta documentation and discuss it with the certain community and German community was the first one and Linters project first started uh, in this country. Uh, so there's the list of other countries and different channels which uh, they use uh, for communicating with the charters and with such corporate mappers as the Dutch Rift team. 
so uh, there were a lot of interesting cases and learnings for us because each time when we go to a new community it was a new experience there were new cases in communication uh, so when we tried to communicate with the german community we didn't know what language we should use that's why we used english first and just pin their link to their machine translation to, uh, to their german language uh, but the members very quick showed me that i should use um, their language if i'd like to be polite and uh, to be respectful with them and uh, it was very nice of some members who were using two languages responding to me back because as i mentioned in the very beginning that rift team is located in minsk and the english uh, language of course not our native language and of course there are actually no one in uh, the rift team who can fluently speak german uh, so that's why it was very nice to see not only german language but the english too because sometimes machine translation is not so good and it can be a little bit struggling sometimes and difficult to understand the question or the information which were given next community uh, with whom we were trying to communicate were uh, um, the French community and so we didn't know that there can be a lot of different other channels in spite of uh, the OSM forum and of course as usual I tried to first uh, to show documentation about our organized editing activities there and the moderator showed me that there are another channel uh, for communication that they are usually using for this purpose or uh, mailing list and so I did it and um, I can say that it is can be a little bit struggling for the person who didn't know all these or uh, all the things about communities and it can be difficult to find the community for a newcomer. Uh, also, we were, um, in, uh, we were in contact with the Netherlands community. Uh, so uh, they said that we uh, can feel free us to post in English. And also, we were surprised by their activity in uh, not in. Um, fixing linters uh, too uh, they mentioned it in the forum they mentioned it in our tickets and of course we saw it while doing a review that some of the cases were already fixed uh, before us and also I'd like to say thank you for everyone who were giving us some kind of feedback and advice uh, which uh, satellite imagery we should uh, use for mapping which is the newest one uh, also we've got a lot of different kind of feedback to the our change sets sometimes it was very positive sometimes not so it also could be questionable but it is also good feedback for us because uh, all this is kind of a new sphere for the Data Rift team. It helps us to grow, to grow our mapping skills and to grow our communicative skills with the communities. Uh, so thank you for that. And also we were contacting with the Belgian community by the right channels and they also were kind of supportive and active and uh, actually almost in each country when we are giving you a json file so we can see uh, after our review your fixes too and i think that this is great so if we're talking uh, about numbers 
uh, for all this period, beginning from the October of 2020 until the G June of 2021st, uh, the team reviewed uh, 30,000 with a half of issues. And this is kind of crazy amount for us. And the team was able to fix more than uh, half of them, no, 19,000 of fixes. So we have for all these uh, listed countries, we have a fixed rate higher than 55%. And uh, also we reviewed uh, Germany, Belgium, the USA, Netherlands, France, uh, in some countries there were already a few iterations of our review also there is no in list but will be in future uh, one more iteration in france also we started to review linters in italy uh, just haven't read the metrics now because it is continue for this particular moment and uh, I can say that each community help us to grow and to help us to make such uh, great numbers. And so, so the team continue to grow and uh, in future we hoping to have a more different kinds of uh, mapping activities. Like um, I think that someone of you heard about missing streets which we've done for the USA and uh, for some uh, Europe countries and we would like to have more such possibilities to contribute to the OSM communities so thank you for your attention I think that uh, now it's time for a question so you are welcome uh welcome back again to everyone sorry for the technical issue i hope that you can hear me now uh we have we had some issue we are live or not okay i believe that we are live i don't stop i was just thanking vlada for for the presentation and i was uh, happy for this uh, for this new session for the for the presentation i just uh, uh, it was very interesting it was an, a very good example of collaboration between a company and like, like mapbox that is from a lot of time working uh, in uh, in open street map and the, the different community in different country as i said before the uh, there are some issue that i was a little bit surprised that the last uh, issue were with uh, with, for example, in Italy, and so as I presented you before, I'm Lorenzo from Italy, so I was a little bit concerned that all the last example were for Italy, but as was saying in the presentation, Italy was the last country that they uh, that they start the collaboration with the community. So I, I see that there are some questions. Um, so uh, do you do you have a way of marking the things you, re you review, uh, but decide that are correct? So the linters don't pick them uh, up again. So you are muted, brother. So this is asking about the fact that if you, if in, in some case you you found that the the mapping is correct and it's not an error, do you have some methodology to explain to the other that yeah. this is correct? Actually, uh, in the beginning of the presentation, I was uh, telling about uh, a tool which is uh, uh, found in a linters issue. So when this linters issue is resolved, we won't get it anymore just because there is no any mistake anymore. So I think that's the answer. <laughs> okay, perfect. So we have also another question that uh, you say that in presentation that uh, the, the navigation is partially based on the OpenStreetMap data. This is something very good. And that, but part of this is not related to of data of OpenStreetMap. Can you say something about the fact from where this data come from? Uh, I just can say that uh, all the data which is connected with the OSM data, any comparisons, or any mistakes, or any addings of new data according to our telemetry, which I was also uh share information with the community while one more project missing streets uh we just contributed to the osm 
So, and uh, I think like any other company, we have some our internal data, which we just can share, but all what is connected with the OSM, we contribute it to the OSM. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. So I have just, I have another question that I saw that uh, you are going, uh, uh, you are moving country by country. And just one question that I read in the chat, I somehow was surprised that the, there is a forum, for example, for reference community is external from the, from the standard, say, standard forum of, uh, of this. Uh, I saw that you start in from Germany, you move to different country. Do you found, which is uh, the most, um, the most strange, there are different channels. How you are you able to every time to find a new channel from, from the communication of the particular country? It's not uh, easy sometimes. So yes, there is a usual or some forum we, where you can uh, able to find uh, uh, OSM users channels for each country, but not all of them are very active. Uh, some of them are pin a message uh, with the channels where they usually um, communicate, but uh, not all of them. And some of their uh, communities are using uh, mailing lists, some of our other ways of communicating, so not, it's not very easy. Also, there exists uh, one uh, uh, like browser link which is showing uh, the map of the world and showing uh, their communicate channels with the communities. So if you'd like, I can maybe share a little bit later it in uh, comments. Yeah, I am, and the so it's a very powerful instrument created, I believe, by the Belgian community. It's very, very good to found some to start at least yeah. for some point. Maybe you have after you have to understand which is the one that is most used. But this is a, a very good, of, a very starting point when you discover to to start to communicate. And also, if there is someone else that is listening this presentation and would like to add, I, I I've done for for the Italian for part of the Italian community. We create a new channel and I added this to the map. You can make a, a pull request on GitHub and you will add. You will appear in, in the map. So it's, this is also something, some product that we use for the, for the community and also for other people that would like to to, to keep in contact with this, the particular community that could find uh, online the, the, the point where they can contact. So you were saying, uh, I stop you, we can go. No, it's, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, actually, we are always uh, sharing uh, JSON files in our GitHub tickets just to let you. Uh, uh, a way also to try to review. It is easy to open in uh, your GeoJSON and then to go from it to the OSM and just to look by yourself what were their issue in some places. Okay, thank you very much. If you maybe if you would like to talk something about like uh, you say that you move from one country to the other. Do you are you moving from some I don't know commercial region about the area that you are more of interest or like there is also you are keeping track of the area where there are more issues and you are moving to that area in a progressive order? Uh, actually, I can say that in our plan there is a lot of countries. Uh, first of all, it will be Europe, USA. We uh, review just a part and we would like to finish all the rest of the country also we are going to review and started already canada just a few days ago and also i think uh, in half a year we would like to go to the mexico so it will be a long trip <laughs> yeah you're, you're uh, traveling the world without moving from Minsk. yes <laughs> and also um but the, Sorry, I was also. Uh, I believe this is a very interesting point. But uh, have you? I, I I lost this part due to, to, to the technical issue. Have you already complete a country, or once you open a country, you fix um, almost most the issue? You keep the the country in the list of the one that you are uh, that you are say controlling and to prevent the possible errors. Uh, uh, I can say that we would like to uh, review one country. Uh, with uh, some period of time, just because the OSM is very alive and there, we, there will be a lot of new issues with the time, maybe with the half an hour, uh, uh, half a year, for example. So we did our actual this for France. We uh, reviewed the part, I, don't, I actually don't remember, maybe in the late uh, or 
don't know, October or December, something like this. And uh, just a week ago, we finished uh, the whole country to review. So for now, we know that in front there should be a good uh, data with no winter issues for now. Yeah, sure. It's a, it's a part of the world. So I don't see new new question. I just read a bit of why for, for people. I don't know, maybe, maybe I just ask the question that people are interested in. Also, maybe if someone is arriving a bit late and uh, would like to, to ask questions, maybe if you are in a new community, I don't know, maybe you have some contact point. You say that there is, a, you put in the slide the link for, for the GitHub, there can be a point for some community to contact you. Also, as you say, you are present in the country where you are mapping, you are present and you advise the, the, the things. I saw, I remember now that you man, you send a message in the Italian mailing list when I believe some months ago. And it was started like a bit of discussion about that. I, I was very, very, it was very interesting the fact that you translate, you, you presented this in English, obviously, obviously, and also you try to translate it automatically. And this was very, a very interesting approach also to, to a company that works and uh, improve the, the, the overall quality of the OpenStreetMap data. And is I believe this is something that maybe some at different time the volunteer uh, try to do it, but maybe sometime lost the, the the time to do it. Okay, so I don't see any questions. So I thank you very much, uh, Vlada, for for your time, for your presentation, and for for your work, and also for the work of all the other, uh, all the other uh, uh, Mapbox uh, data rave uh, teams. And so thank you again, and see. I will wait you for, for the next thing. If you have any other question, you can move to the to the post talk uh, chat room, and maybe rather you can go here and uh, in this place, and maybe that someone else would like to post some question. All right. Thank you very okay. much. Yep. Thank you for your attention.